do it. Let's fix it. We can fix it. And voila, it works. Come with me. Okay. All right. Up there, see that building? High above the others. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, you might be able to communicate with the whole city. Your friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know. They'll know it. Okay. The only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks, we need you, little outsider, to bring us to the sky. What exactly are the Zerks? All right, so let's get this. Get, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this damn receiver done. Rooftops. All right, so I assume I get to assume I get to the very top. Yeah, over there, I assume. Oof. Those assholes, I'm gonna have to run through. Shit. Now let's go. Let's just go. There? I cannot go up there. Come on, let me go up there. Let me jump. I can jump over here, but gotta be somewhere I can go. There we go. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. The people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their city. That person was taken away and never seen again. The people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the uh, oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see color again, like, on the outside. I think it helped. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, something I've realized, uh, in my playthrough, um, like, uh, you know, uh, 
something I realized in my playthrough, uh, if I think my, my last playthrough, my last recording, is I say, that's interesting, a lot. I say, like, interesting, or that's interesting, a lot. That's very interesting. Hmm, interesting. interesting. I say that a lot. It's weird. I don't know why. It's just, it's very, it's very interesting. Parkouring, don't mind me. Is there like weird like symbiote type stuff, you know what I mean? Like venom type shit. Or carnage type stuff all over the place. Carnage stuff everywhere. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Fuck off. No, fuck you. You fuckers. Speed run, speed run, speed run. Yeah. Ah, ah! Fuck off, I'm just a cat, bro. I'm just a cat. Run, kitty, run. Not yet safe, kitty. Safe. We still have a couple of areas to go. I think I have to go over here. Neko Corporation. Echo Corp. You were responsible for waste management. This trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums. They tried to develop a bacteria to resolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that, but that, yeah, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zergs. Interesting, interesting. Let's go. So the humans make maintained the bacteria that destroyed trash. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. So I assume I have to go... Come after me, come after me, bitches. Come after me, you can't get me. You cannot get me, you fuckers. You cannot get me. 
Crack the door. No, not. No, wrong area. Wrong area. Oh, fuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Open the goddamn door, you bastard. Alright, so, anyways, guys, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Uh, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Hack the door. 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 Ow. I'm still kind of getting fucked, though. I will admit that. So, where do you want me to go now? Get off me, you uh, bastards. Wait, does... I can smash him with that? That's interesting. That's cool. Could you open the door, maybe? Can you open the door? I need the door to be open. Won't even give me the option to open the door. Okay, there you go. Uh, you little shits. Oh, fuck. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Gotta be on my toes. Gotta be on my little footsies. I can pull, that's cool. Uh, oh, you see, you see, you see, you see, hi guys, hi, hi, hello, hello. Hi guys. Hi. Uh, uh. Is there a way? Hack the fucking thing before they get in. Just popping out of the bacteria. It's interesting. Uh, I'm I'm noticing like a lot of like, especially horror esque type genres. They're starting to use bacteria as. We have a problem here. Oh. They're starting to use bacteria as like a monster I think like the back rooms uh from what I know of the theories that I have or the theories that like I've been hearing are like the monster in the back rooms in uh Kane Pitzel's animations uh which are awesome by the way I, I I've been watching a ton of that are really cool and fun and interesting and they have like a lot of lore in them I've been watching game theory and uh there's like bacteria that's coming alive and becoming like monsters and everything. So it's cool how Stray, uh, from what it seems, they're also exploring the bacteria being like, the monster. So that's that's really cool. I like it. I really like that. Here it is. Put the transceiver on this antenna. Okay. Found easily enough, boss. All right. Oh, there it is, transceiver. Go 
Still going, guys. Still going. We'll get there eventually. And it's there. There we go. Nice. We got it. I'm a badass cat, bro. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. <clears throat> shelter from what? This look like stars, but they're only lights making the hermetic roof ceiling off the city. The humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, un unlively, and dangerous. But if you came from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Mama. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Alright. And this stretches long ways. Yeah, the city is really beautiful. The slums, part two. Looking up. A little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advan advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. I'm gonna have to fucking write this shit down. Or something. Be careful. It is case sensitive. See you at the bar. Must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. All right, you're gonna have to put it in B12. All right, I, I can't do that shit. Code was. Hmm. It was an H, I think. Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. Then it was, oh, or is it a zero? Let's see. Success. All right, it worked. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's get to the, let's get to the bar. I'm gonna be a drunk cat. I'm gonna be a drinking cat. I don't know exactly know where the hell the bar is, but I will try and find it. Over there. Broski, a little fur ball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Sorry. Just adjust myself. There we go. All good. Let me see if I can get this thing working. I've 
I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out, and... Wait, is that you, Baltzar? Momo? I... I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Baltzar. Where are you? Are you, the others okay? Yes. Psst. We are safe. We found a way up. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Cirques everywhere. Sewers. How? Hello? Darn it. We've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Baltzar is alive. He and the others outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Baltzar made it, it must be a way. Infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal of you, especially you little. And he tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end up well. End up. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none. I warned you, your business is none of my business. Famous. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist who was working on some new weapons to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Famous has never been the same since. Don't listen to Samus. He's just scared like I was of Doc built. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in the same apartment. Come on, follow me. Come on, Samus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Samus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. You. I think I have an idea. Take Doc's notebook and show it to Samus. Alright. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. On the secret lab, little outsider. Going back to the bar to try and reestablish communications with the others. Sounds good. Ah, uh, yes. James. What are you doing here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Alright, bitch. 
Here's Doc's notebook. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? In your ass. I mean, have you ever sat down and actually thought to look somewhere, maybe? Guess maybe not, it's probably really s Oh, it's right here. You really didn't see it? I found it like one second. Just knock these pictures down just because. All right. Here it is, see? Never noticed that digit code before. How did I miss it? No idea what the password could be. Might be in the book. Let me just knock these down just in case. Oh. Time will tell. Five one five one one. And I am if I get this right, I am I'm not even looking any of this stuff up. I am just literally playing this game. Okay, so what did I say? Okay, so time will tell. So two five one Got it. It was literal time will tell. Time tells. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his mind. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Okay, so observation. Huge sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. Reacts to the intense. Anything interesting here? Robots news headlines. Search are officially no longer under control. They now eat. That's weird. Don't mind me. <coughs> Blueprints, concept. 
A Fletcher Blueprint Concept Light Based Handgun. Low priority. Visual appearance, size, decibel emitted. High priority. Test in real condition. Objective 20 Zerg destroyed per second. What was the box though? Come on. There we go. Whoa. That's cool. Broken tracker. This tracker is meant to find spe specific robot given the right condition. Unfortunately, it's broken. We should find a way to repair it. Anything interesting yet? I found this broken tracker. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. <clears throat> well, you see, if he had to use the tracker to find you, and you reverse it... You'd find the tracker. Okay, so we already found the tracker. So, uh, I don't think that, that would work. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. I need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums might be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. I guess we can find him with this tracker. Interesting. Get the fuck out. You gotta fix that tracker. Your, re your resource. Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. So we're going to have to find someone in the slums that can help us. So we're going to have to try and find someone in the, in the slums that can help us. But sadly, we're running low on time, and I've got to cut the recording. So, anyways, uh, this was really, really fun. This is really different from the first part, uh, where we had to run around and, and, like, you know, check everything out. Really, now we're getting into, like, robot territory... And we're learning about the robots and humans and the slums and, and all that. It's very, very interesting. It's very fun. And I'm, I'm having a great time with this. I cannot wait to continue playing. <laughs> but anyways. I'm having fun with this. I can't wait to find someone in the, slum is someone in the slums that'll help us. And uh, can't wait for uh, next time. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.